Germany's four main lignite coal producing regions are coming in for massive transformations as the country converts to clean energy. The idea is to make them into next generation energy hubs, creating new opportunities from historical strengths. Innovative green technologies, modern infrastructure and vibrant cultural life will encourage old residents to stay and attract new ones. The German government is underwriting these developments by setting up clean energy laboratories. Innovative technologies can be tested out under real-life conditions and on an industrial scale. That will create lasting economic opportunities and quality jobs in all four regions. Here's a closer look at them. Starting in the east, Lusatia is the country's second largest coal region. Former mines are already being transformed into Europe's biggest network of man-made lakes. That opens up new opportunities for tourism and culture, business and science. With the newly founded Fraunhofer Research Institution for Energy Infrastructures and Geothermal Systems, we will provide the research excellence and innovation for a successful energy transition in Lusatia. We need to develop networked energy infrastructures and basic technologies like geothermics and high-capacity heat pumps. We're doing this in conjunction with local businesses. The Schwarze Pumpe area and power station will be the site of one laboratory, a model hydrogen reservoir power plant. The model plant will not only produce renewable electricity, but will help connect the heating and mobility sectors. It will enable Lusatia and Spremberg to remain an energy hub. Hydrogen plays a key role in constructing large-scale plants that will ensure that all of Germany and Europe are supplied with energy. Renewable forms of electricity cause few CO2 emissions, but fluctuate and aren't always available when needed. The Schwarze Pumpe's big battery can help solve this problem. It's Europe's largest store of electricity, it will make power production more flexible and the electricity grid more resistant to fluctuations. Moving on to the central German region, it's an area of contrast. It combines cities like Leipzig and Halle, beautiful landscapes and Germany's northernmost wine country, and industries like optics, microelectronics, biotechnology and chemicals, all of which contribute to the structural transformation. We're in Leuna, where construction is underway on an electrolysis experiment and testing facility. The Green Hydrochem Laboratory is a joint project of Linde, Siemens and the Fraunhofer Society. It will produce green hydrogen with a 50 megawatt electrolyzer to gradually replace hydrogen produced by fossil fuels. Along with testing systems, we at the Fraunhofer IMWS and the Fraunhofer CBP are aiming to synthesize further substances from green hydrogen, for example green methanol or regenerative fuel. The Städtische Werke Bana aims to make renewable energy economically competitive. We have highly efficient power and heat coupling facilities that generate electricity from natural gas and biogas, as well as an electromobility charging infrastructure and a natural gas fuel station. Electricity for our tenants is provided by a photovoltaic installation. It also produces electricity for storage. The Helmstedt region has been making history for centuries. This was once the most important border crossing between East and West Germany. Now it's at the heart of a united Europe. The oldest known human hunting implements were discovered in the region and are on display at this museum in Schöningen. Following 140 years of mining history, the region is now laying the groundwork for an innovation transformation in using energy resources. At the Landwind Group, we've been putting our heart and soul into renewable energy for almost 20 years. From our base in Helmstedt, we operate more than 100 wind power facilities across Germany. 
the energy from waste at the Bush House power station turns energy and agriculture ideas into concrete reality. We're building a sewage sludge incinerator at this location. Sewage sludge is a serious problem in Germany. Previously, it's ended up in agricultural fields. The incinerator changes all that. It eradicates toxins and yields phosphorus in the process. We're making green energy here, which can be used for a variety of purposes, including producing methanol in the future. Together with our partner Energy from Waste, we're planning one of the most innovative energy production projects of the future here in Helmstedt. The first step will be to make green hydrogen from regenerative electricity. The second step is to enrich it with CO2 from the incinerator in Buschhaus, producing green methanol. We'll be reducing both the burdens on regional electricity networks and the CO2 emissions from the incinerator. And we'll be creating a further area of use for green hydrogen, the energy carrier of the future. Finally, to the Rhine coal region, the largest in Europe. Coal mining helped this area become a major industrial center for chemicals and aluminum. Bundling and utilizing the potential of the region right from the start can help it master the transformations to come. We're here in Jülich at the German Aerospace Center's experimental solar thermal plant. This is the only facility of its kind in Europe. By collecting light from the sun, we can generate great heat that can be used to drive a turbine or break down water by electrolysis. The Store to Power Research Project, one of the laboratories funded by the German government, aims at developing a heat storage plant. The goal is to store, in the form of heat, the electricity produced by fluctuating wind and solar power generators so that it doesn't need to be used immediately. We can employ the existing power station facility, infrastructure and workforce to turn this heat back into electricity. The Forschungszentrum Jülich Research Center is also exploring climate, environmental and clean energy technologies. In terms of information, energy and bioeconomy, we are very involved in Germany's successful structural transformation. With our hydrogen and power to x technologies, we are continuing a regional tradition. At the same time, with our quantum computing and AI technologies, we're providing new impulses for the region's digital transformation. Together with our various partners, we're helping to remake the Rhine mining area into an internationally attractive region of innovation. The transformation of Germany's traditional coal-producing regions into future energy hubs offers great opportunities. Germany Trade and Invest is keeping careful tabs on developments and the investment chances they generate. We're happy to provide information about business conditions and subsidies, establish contacts with research and testing institutions, and support you in setting up shop in any one of these exciting, rapidly transforming regions. Germany Trade and Invest.